Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Let's go, let's go. Woo! I love it. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, man. Hey, real quick, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, let's read this right here. Let's read this and let's get some context behind it. All right. Because it's all kinds of truth right here. It's is Psalm 58 and verse two. Yea, in heart, ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands. Of you, like I said, yo, your hands in the earth. Verse three. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray. Uh, they go from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking what? Lies. Huh? Speaking lies. Let's go here. Let's get this. Cause there's something I want to show you. You know, that I was watching the brother uh uh Yara Yarquab. It's like if I said your name wrong. All right. All right. Let's go to the blue letter. Yahakarab. Yeah, that's 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 his name. Yahakarab, right? <laughs> and he was going in, man. Hey, that brother got a good spirit, man. All right, so let's go to the blue letter and let's look this up right quick. This is why we look up words. This is just total impromptu. Total impromptu. So it was a Psalm 58. Psalm 58 in verse 3. Uh, Psalms. No, 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 no. World. All right, there we go. I was messing all up. Here we go. Psalms 58 and verse 3. Let's read this right here and we'll get some we'll get some words. We'll get some words. That's why we look up words here at the Great Millstone, right? All right. Psalm 58, verse three, the wicked are strength from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. OK, from the womb, you know, you come up out of your mother's womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Why? Because they cannot learn righteousness, as the scripture said. And then there, you can't make something straight that's crooked. Right. Speaking what? Speaking lies. So let's go to that word. Estranged. Estranged. Come on. Let's go. Strong's age 2114. Zur. Zur. Okay. To be strange. Be a stranger. To become a strange. Strange, another stranger. Foreign. An enemy. See that? Loathsome. Strange woman. Prostitute harlot. Um, to be a strange. To be a stranger. Be one uh, alienated. Okay. They are strained from the womb. They alienated, separated, what? Enemies. From the womb, right? So let's go here, Salakia. All right, Yahaka Rob. Yeah, that's the brother. Salakia, if I got your name wrong in the first place. Okay. All this talk about King James. Well, King James was a, uh, he was a white man. He was a, No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Not at all. All right. So let me read this right here. King James' son. Had a nickname of what? Black boy. This is crazy. Black boy in Essex renamed. This is the black boy pub. All right. Named after what? The, the son of what? King James the second. Right. In wake of BLM protest. <laughs> oh, man. See, they are strange. As soon as they be born speaking lies, they cannot learn righteousness. And that's all they do is lie. BLM is a damn lie. It was all set up by who? Esau Edom and backed up by who? Three damn, three witches that did nothing but take your money and live well off of it. Three uh, 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 LGBC, three PO witches at that. That can be proven. All right. So let's get this right here. Salakia, that went all over the place. Look at that. So that's supposed to be King James II. And his nickname is Black Boy? Interesting. So let's go here. Wow. I mean, it's just, you can't make this shit up. Um, a village pub called the Black Boy is being renamed in the wake of BLM movement, right? Put down by some, probably some Edomite. All right. 
Let's see. The pub. Uh, does, 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 does that look like a black boy to you? Why would, why would somebody like that be nicknamed black boy? Let's read about it. The pub in uh, uh, Thrope, uh, Thrope Road, uh, Wingley, is named after King Charles II. All right. Let's see. That's King Charles II. Anyway, let's keep reading. It refers to the monarch's nickname, Black Boy, given to him by his mother, Henrietta uh, Marion of France, due to his dark complexion and hair. Did you see that? Dark complexion and hair. Let's go back. It does, it, it's, I mean, can you see the, what I see? There we go. I got a still photo. Let's let's frame it up a little bit. Frame it up right there. Due to his what? Dark complexion and hair. What does that look like to you? That looks like an Edomite to me. I don't quite understand where the dark complexion and hair come from in, on that photo. Interesting, right? So his dark complexion and hair early earlier this year, anti-racism. See, it's all trickery and fuckery is what it is. It's all trickery and fuckery. That's what it is. Oh, boy. Earlier this year, anti-racism campaigners, which, which are Edomites, called for all, all pubs called the all pubs. Uh, so there's more than one. Interesting. Called the black boy to be renamed after claiming it had racist connotations. Well, well how so? <laughs> I mean, how so? Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting that they, they why you want to change that for? But then, but then they up in arms. They up in arms about uh, pulling down some dumbass statue that uh, uh, that that a uh, Confederacy soldier. Or, well, I, I mean, this shit don't make no sense, man. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? The black boy in Wesley, uh, uh, Weedley, Salakia, has uh, has now followed in the footsteps of of its namesake, Seven Oaks. All right, so now now they name it Seven Oaks. <laughs> Kent, which uh, Kent which is being renamed to the uh, restoration to reflect the uh, restoration of the monarchy. Oh, you see that? <laughs> Interesting. The restoration of the monarchy in 1660 with King Charles II and King uh, as king followed the end of Oliver Cromwell's Republican uh, Commonwealth. Wow. Interesting. Mm hmm. All this stuff is interesting. This is sort of leading me down a rabbit hole here. So Oliver Cromwell, right? Born April 25th of 1599. It's, it's in Huntington. It's the England and England died September 3rd, 1658. Uh, English soldier, blah, blah, blah. Who give them, you know. All right. Let's see. English Civil Wars. He was Lord Protector of England, Scotland and Ireland. Right. 1653 to 58. Didn't I say 1600s? In the 1600s. Now, what was going on then? And let's keep reading here. Let's see. Uh, uh, Huntington, England. Okay. So what was going on here at that time? What was going on here at that time to the, for the Israelites? Slavery in the colonial, hist in colonial history of the United States from 15. Uh, in, 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 and it's, a lot of these dates are off. 1526 to 1776. Like it ended then, right? <laughs> okay, developed the complex factors and researchers have proposed several theories to explain the development of the institution of slavery. Hmm. And of the slave trade. Slavery strongly correlated with European colonies. Did you hear that? Uh, demand for labor. Demand for slavery. It was way beyond that. It's an ancient hatred. It's an ancient battle. That's what's going on. All right. For the labor intensive, labor intensive plantation economics of the sugar colonies in the Caribbean and, and in South America operated by Great Britain, France, Spain, Portugal and the Dutch Republic. Now, let's keep going here. And, and it's, it's way to it more than it's way more than that. OK, what was happening then during the 16 or oh, uh, 17th century? Yeah, the 17th century. That's right. And see, the Renaissance, the what? The rebirth. That's what that means. That's why we look up words. The rebirth of what? Esau, Edom coming back into power. And after a thousand years, what he say? He lose. He lose the damn devil. And we're going to get that scripture. The Renaissance was a, a, a fervent period of time. Okay. Fervent. 
<laughs> I'll say it that way. Inside joke to the brother who knows what I'm talking about. Fervent period uh, of the European uh, cultural, uh, artistic, political, economic rebirth. Right. See that you understand where this is going, don't you? Following the Middle Ages, generally described as taking place from the 14th century to the 17th century. OK, and, and, and hold on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The 17th century is what? It, it was uh, 1600 to 1699. Hmm. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's read this again. The black boy. The what? The black boy pub in Wingley. We Wheatley has not has now followed in footsteps after uh, after the namesake, blah, 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 blah. The monarchy. Let's go back the the restoration renamed the restoration uh, to reflect the restoration of the monarchy in 1660 with Charles II as the king following the end of Oliver Cromwell's Republican Commonwealth. See that right there? All right. <laughs> yeah. And again, if you ask me, let's look at it again. We got it again. I might as well go ahead and save it. I don't know if I want to save it or not, but I just will for edification purposes. Now it's saved. Right. And if you ask me, let's go to the let's go to the photo. Let's see. So like, yeah. Look at that right there. That's supposed to be black boy, right? He looks like uh, one of these. Uh, he looks like an 80s hairband type. He looks like a, a member of Queen. Let's let's go see if we can pull that up. You know, just just for just let's pull it up. You see. Queen. He looks like he looks like a, an image of Queen. Look, look, look. What I tell you. See that? See see Israel. They made they they going they going to make him the uh, what the nickname of black boy look look, look like this. See? That's what, <laughs> can't make that up. All right. So I said, we're going to read about it. Here we go. Revelation 20 and verse six. Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. Hmm. On such the second death have no power, but they shall be priest of the most high and of Yahweh Shai. Right. And shall reign with him a thousand years. Verse seven. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. The rebirth, the renaissance, you see, and shall go and go and slack you and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. What deceive the nations? What Which nations? Which nations? The Israelites, Gog and Magog, them Russians over there, to gather them together to battle. Woo -hoo! The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. I told you we're gonna read about it. And they went up on on it's like it, on the uh breadth of the earth and compassed the camp. And the saints about in the beloved city and fire came down from the Most High Yahweh out of heaven and devoured them. Okay, then. So the lead, so the lead singer, and this is written in the scripture. So the lead singer of Queen, you know, how they made him look the old two uh, uh, pasties, you know, if you will. If, if you look up uh, uh, Henriette, it shows her as being a damn pasty, too. Uh, it's looking like a damn eater, man. And it's super paint, like uh, almost white, literally. Okay. Let's just go here. Iconoclasm. Iconoclasm. Yeah, what did they start? They started doing that, didn't they? They started doing that, what? During the re Renaissance, doing their rebirth, changing the likeness of the images. Job 9 and verse 24 says it all, right? The action of attacking or assertively rejecting cherished beliefs and institutions or established values and practices. Second one, the rejection of destruction, the rejection or destruction of religious images as his, uh, uh, her, heretical, her, 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 heretical, Slakia. I said it wrong. Please forgive me. The doctrine of iconoclast, right? All right. So uh, you got, you got pictures down here. You know, it's all it's all kinds of things. Vladimir Putin steadily be all, all up in them churches showing you 
exactly what the images look like and who, and who the hell these people are. You can go to some of these uh, museums and you'll look and you'll see how they repainted it. And some of them butchered bad, so badly that they're unrecognizable. But you can tell they're all jakes, man. They all look like so-called Negroes. And it's the truth. Whether you believe it here to forbear it or not, whatever. Job 9 verse 24. What does this say right here? Let's read it. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. After a thousand years, he was his ass was loosed. See? Mm-hmm. He's going, he's, and then he's going to have to serve a thousand. It's, it's, this is a, a poetic justice, man. It's beautiful. He's going to have to serve a thousand years in the kingdom and then be bound up, burned into a big ass pit. Job 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? I had to read it just, just real slow, and real easy. He did what? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Who was what? Esau, Edom. And he covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Don't you see that? Hmm? And uh, King Charles II, it, uh, is, is, is his grandson? Ain't that something? <laughs> Make that work. Anyway, first Maccabees 3 and verse 48, and they lay open the book. Let's see, let's see if we want to get any more. Of that. No, I, I'll stay right here. I'll just close it. First Maccabees 3 and verse 48, and they lay open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image. See? And, you know, hey, and that's why they wanted to take out the Apocrypha, too. That's all they do is lie, 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 lie. They sought to paint the likeness of their image. You see, uh, I'll leave it right there. Hopefully this was edifying, giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father. <laughs> oh boy. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. I'm glad I ran across that video. Because they, they, that's all they do is freaking lie, man, constantly. Lie, 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 lie. That's all they know. Every, that's, you know, every chance you get, chant this damn place down. DTA and Kwam Yasharala, Wa Ababa Ball. Boom! Shalom.